So next we'll discuss type 3 where you have alternate signs that is C naught square minus C1 square plus C2 square minus C3 square so on. So now for this I'll consider 1 plus x whole power n and 1 minus 1 by x whole power n. So 1 minus 1 by x whole power n's expansion is C naught minus C1 x plus C2 x square minus C3 x C3 by x cube so on. Now if you multiply these two that is 1 plus x whole power n into x minus 1 whole power n by x power n is equal to the multiplication of these two expressions. So now let us consider the constant term in LHS and RHS. So constant term. So what is the constant term in the RHS? RHS is the multiplication of these two. When you multiply these two where what is the constant term that you get? So, if you have C naught here, you have to multiply it with C naught to get the constant. If you have C 1 x, you have to multiply it with minus C 1 by x. C 2 x square, C 2 by x square, C 3 x cube, C 3 by x cube, so on. So, in the RHS, the constant term is C naught square minus C 1 square plus C 2 square minus C 3 square plus minus so on up to minus 1 whole power n into C n square. And similarly, what is the constant term in the RHS, in the LHS? So, LHS is nothing but, so this can be written as x minus 1 or you can convert this into 1 minus x. So, minus 1 whole power n, so if I take a minus common, minus 1 whole power n into 1 plus x whole power n into 1 minus x whole power n by x power n. That is equal to minus 1 whole power n into 1 minus x square whole power n by x power n. So, if you want the constant term in this, just need to consider the coefficient of x power n in the numerator. Then x power n and x power n will get cancelled out, you get the answer. So, now what is the coefficient of x power n in 1 minus x square whole power n? So, you can see that in the expansion of 1 minus x square whole power n, you have only even powers of x. So, if you expand this, you get 1 minus n c 1 into x square plus n c 2 into x square whole square plus n c 3 into x square whole cube, so on. So, in this expansion, you have only the even powers of x. So, if I want the coefficient of x power n, the coefficient of x power n is equal to, so coefficient of x power n is 0 if n is odd. So, if n is odd, you will not get any x power n coefficient because all the powers of x in this expansion are even and that is equal to n c n by 2 into minus 1 whole power n by 2 if n is even. So, if n is even, x square whole power n by 2 gives x power n. So, that term corresponds to n c n by 2 into minus 1 whole power n by 2. So, now in the LHS, the coefficient of x power n is either 0 if n is odd or n c n by 2 into minus 1 by 2 if n is even. So, in RHS, you have c naught square minus c 1 square plus so on. So, this will be equal to 0 if n is odd and this is equal to if n is even, so minus 1 whole power n will become plus 1. So, effectively this is the thing which is left out. That is minus 1 whole power n by 2 into n c n by 2 if n is even. So, this is a formula which you need to remember. If you have c naught square minus c 1 square plus c 2 square minus c 3 square so on. So, the answer will be equal to 0 if the number, if the prefix number is an odd number. If the prefix number is an even number, that will be equal to minus 1 whole power n by 2 into n c n by 2. So, for example, so if I ask you to find 51 c naught square minus 51 c 1 square plus 52 c 2 square minus 52 c 3 square, so on. So, if you have an alternate plus minus, correspond to an odd number. So, this answer will be equal to 0. This answer will be equal to 0. 
but if you have instead of 51 if you have 50 c naught square minus 50 c1 the square plus 50 c2 the square minus 50 c3 the square so on so this will be equal to because n is even here minus 1 whole power n by 2 is 25 into n c n by 2 that is 50 c 25 so minus 1 whole power 25 into 50 c 25 will be the answer for this so c naught square minus c 1 square plus c 2 square minus c 3 square so on depends on whether my n is even or odd if it is odd the answer will be 0 if it is even the answer will be minus 1 whole power n by 2 into n c n by 2 so in the next type if we have terms associated with increasing integers that is instead of you having c naught square plus c1 square plus c2 square plus c3 square directly so if you have c1 square plus 2 times c2 square plus 3 times c3 square plus 4 times c4 square so on so if we have expressions like this so what we do is so we consider one expansion as 1 plus x whole power is equal to c naught plus c1 x plus c2 x square plus so on up to c n x power n and we have the other expression as a differentiation of this that is n into 1 plus x whole power n minus 1 is equal to c1 plus 2 times c2 into x into x power 1 plus 3 times c3 times x square plus so on up to n times c n times x power n minus 1. So now if you multiply these two, so if you multiply these two on the LHS you get n into 1 plus x whole power 2 n minus 1 is equal to this bracket into this bracket. So now if you want c1 square plus 2 into c2 square so on, so can you see that so if I multiply in this multiplication let us consider the coefficient of x power n minus 1 let us see what it is. On the LHS the coefficient is very straightforward n into 2 n minus 1 c n minus 1. So, this will be the coefficient of x power n minus 1 in the LHS. So, on the RHS so if you want the coefficient of x power n minus 1 what are the terms that you need to multiply I will multiply c naught with n c n c naught into n times c n plus c 1 into so we have x here so you have to multiply it with x power n minus 2 term that is just the term just before this c 1 into n minus 1 times c n minus 1 plus c 2 into n minus 2 times c n minus 2 plus so on so as you go forward so what is the what is the last term where you get x power n minus 1 so here you get x power n minus 1 into c 1 that is so it will go still c n minus 1 c n minus 1 here into c 1 see if I write it in reverse order if I write it in the reverse order you get that is equal to c n minus 1 into c 1 c n minus 1 into c 1 c n minus 1 is this term into c 1 so what is the previous term to this plus c n minus 2 times 2 c 2 plus c n minus 3 times 3 c 3 plus so on up to I will write this term n minus 1 times c 1 into c n minus 1 plus n times c n or c naught into c n. So, we know that c n minus 1 is same as c 1. So, c 1 into c 1 is c 1 square plus 2 times c n minus 2 is c 2 c 2 square plus 3 times c n minus 3 is same as c 3 that is c 3 square plus so on up to n minus 1 times c 1 is same as c n minus 1 that is c n minus 1 whole square plus n times c naught is same as c n c n square. So, c 1 square plus 2 times c 2 square plus 3 times c 3 square so on will be equal to n into 2 n minus 1 c n minus 1. Again if you have alternate plus minus sign here we consider a minus sign here and then we consider the product of coefficients.